Hey guys, Eddie here. Um, so I've been playing Torchlight for a couple weeks now since open beta, and one of my first characters was Brayhan. I did, you know, I did the standard Warwind stuff and uh, dual wield and here and this and that. So uh, the more I got to know the game, the more I wanted to pursue to make my own build from scratch. So I noticed that not a lot of people have been been using two hander. So I, I wanted to try to see if I can make that work somehow, and I found the cool interaction between Icy Blades and with the, with the hero Gemma. Um, I tried to look at the Frostbite Gemma. I thought it was an okay uh, solution, but overall, I think normal Gemma is still supreme because, uh, you know, you get 50% against uh, ignited enemies, and every single time you do your cold skills, you ignite the enemy and vice versa. So um, it's just 50% 50, 50 more damage, and, like, most of her stuff's pretty good. Um, the physical damage taking is also great, you know, for mitigation and things like that. So, um, yeah. This is my two-hander Ice Blade Gemma, and I just go through over all the skills and just talk a little bit about the build and, and just show you guys what I'm utilizing. So my main focus for this build is utilizing this steep strike mechanic because every single time you reach 100 frostbites on an enemy, your steep strike explodes and these explosions can be stacked, right? So um, for the skills, I have Icy Blade, Raging Slash, so all, this, all the steep strike stuff that you can get. Um, precision strikes for more of the attack speed. Melee knockback. This is just good because it's 40% more damage. Like the knockbacks are okay. Um, things like that. And then obviously harden so you can get the 100% fortify. Um, have life sword, berserk, emergency restoration, residue. This is pretty standard for like mostly all melee builds. So most of the other stuff is pretty standard as well. Like quick mobility, periodic burst, leaf attack, um, bull's rage, all, all the good juicy stuff, mania, death will. Uh, soul focus extended duration so pretty much kind of like a normal melee build uh, bloodthirst but like i said i wanted to take advantage of the two handers so um press ice and bue restrain this is very important you, you kind of need this in the build if not you can't run imbued, imbued buffs you see how my mana is like literally i think i only have like let's see i only have 11 mana reserved left so like it's really important if you if you can't get this you probably gonna have to you know your damage is gonna suffer but I think it's okay. Um, and cast on crit, biting cold, fixate, blizzard, and death pack, precise death pack, ice bond, and thunder light field. I've been playing around with this section. Like sometimes I'm switching things up and using curse on hit. I still haven't found the optimal setup yet, but this is what I've been running because uh, with lightning infusion it gives you a lucky lucky chance to do strikes so you know this every time you crit you get a lucky chance so it rolls twice and picks the best outcome and then ice bond's pretty good too because uh you get just flatted cold damage for a buff and then it gives you a 100 percent chance to frostbite enemies so if you're like jumping around leaping you still have your fight uh frostbites up um and then you can explode on them um as far as my gear goes there is one state or actually eh, i would say two staples um uh, but majority of the stuff i'm just looking for plus levels to to the skills because at level 20 this is like only 250 percent or something like that and this base damage is only like 400 or 350 i'm not too sure i'm not 100 percent sure but so pretty much we're scaling a big high dps weapon plus the damage multiplier so Every single level, you get you get insane, insane value. I, I bought, I crafted and bought many weapons, many two-handers. I bought a hammer, I bought an axe, uh, an axe with like 1,200 DPS. But I found that melee skills reign supreme here. It's it's yeah, there's there's no no doubt about it. So pretty much the gear is pretty standard: elemental damage, life, erosion, crit, uh, melee skills. This has two active skills: crit, life, erosion. Um, same thing here, melee damage. So you can get you, you can either get fire damage, cold damage, or fizz. It works really well with this build because as normal Gemma, all your fire damage is also your cold damage. So it's a pretty cool, neat interaction. So look, once again, melee skills, uh, chance to do double damage. This is also very important on this build because we're stacking focus blessings. Uh, we have up to six. So yeah, pretty center stuff. Physical, elemental, um, resistances. This rings peer resistances. Um, yeah, this ring uh, suck that I have a I have a tier three roll, but I might I might I might recraft that later. But it's cost like you know a lot of FE. It's like forty FE now. But um, so here's the main show. So I tried to double corrode this. I didn't get lucky. I got this this implicit. But yeah, 
So flat fizz, percentage fizz, melee skills, double damage, crit damage, and attack speed. Um, yeah, so pretty much... Oh, also, one more thing. This is pretty much a staple on the build. This infinity is pretty good. There's a couple different options. You can go... Um, you know, this this is not like not the best enhanced uh, slot, but this is pretty good, especially like with pets and things like that. Um, if you get cast speed, it also applies to your attack speed. So I have a couple pets that do like elemental penetration and cast speed, and literally that's just free attack speed. So the, the faster you hit, the faster you hit, the more frost bites you do to the enemy, and the more frost bites you do, the more explosions you do. So you just try to like go go ham, go ham, um, and attack as fast as you can, and stack as many frost bites. And um, yeah, icy blade here. So every time you steep strike, you, inf you inflict seventy four frostbite. So this is why I like this mechanic because um, like you'll see in a second here on the dummy, your frostbites are just like almost one hundred percent. Like in like one or two hits, or they're all at one hundred percent. So then you just keep exploding, exploding, exploding. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, this neck piece, this corrosion is a must-have like i tried different different types of necklaces i tried plus melee skills i tried even these different corrosion on these two like this additional damage uh this one's pretty good for two like ah, it's okay but if you can get this you need to have this because it guarantees you to be in steep strike form like if you unequip this and i attack you see i do slashes i don't do the i don't do the uh the little the little icy icicle wave um so yeah that's very important but when i have this on you can see every single attack is a icicle wave right um so yeah let me show you some uh dps on the dummy it's usually around i average 500 million uh sometimes if you get lucky with the double damage you'll see my focus stop uh focus pops go to six sometimes you get lucky the highest i got was like 950 million so i'm, I'm pretty close to a billion and uh yeah let's, let's get into it so, as you can see, it's just ramping, 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 ramping. Look, 852, right? So, yeah. So, the damage is there and uh, pretty much annihilates, you know, the Watcher's bosses. Matt bosses just disintegrate in one hit. Um, yeah. So, that's, that's pretty much the build. I can go over my talent tree. It's pretty straightforward. You try to get all the cold stuff, um, life stuff, cold damage, crit, crit rating, all that good jazz. Um, all the sealed mana stuff you can get so you can stack more more things. Um, so pretty much you start out with uh, Goddess of Knowledge. You get Chili, just damage. You get more you know, cold damage and fire damage. Pretty straight up. And then Arcanist is pretty good too. Um, you're probably going to want to get this... 50% converted to cold uh, because Icy Blades itself has a 50% conversion. So if you get that node, you're at 100% conversion. So that's pretty good. That's a good plus. So yeah, once again, just like attack and cast speed. So this is 12% attack and 12% cast speed. So this is 24% attack speed. This node is actually insane. Um, same thing with this guy. Um, so yeah, pretty much, pretty much just attack speed, cast speed, crit, Focus blessings and cold damage, and um, I take some life on the tree too because I, I don't like dying. So I have around like 4k life or so. Um, gravity knockback. This is the only reason I was using melee knockback too, is because like it's reverse, so they just they just take damage. Um, impending, got to be super close to them. So pretty much standard stuff. I think ranger is like one of the best crit base. It's so much value. Like this tree is absolutely bonkers for like pretty much any single class or or anyone playing crit based it's like actually nutty like all of this stuff here this crit rating this crit damage the the calling uh the favor the fervor is insane you get 100 percent fervor it's kind of nuts um so yeah pretty much that's that's the build uh let me let me go run the map i could show you maybe like a t8 too um just in case let's see Lava. Oh, let's just do this okay this is a standard t8 nothing too crazy i can show you kind of the damage oh and also i'll show you my pets after this as well um pretty much you just stack attack damage pets um i got lucky yesterday i pulled a i pulled one of the legendary attack damage pets so um 
That's pretty cool, but yeah. After this map, I'll get. I'll, I'll show you guys. And what's a cool thing about uh, this interaction? I know it says like you have to hit a uh, elite enemy to to gain all this stuff, but this ice spawn, this thing stays on you so long. It's actually kind of crazy. Like you see up here, ice spawn. It just that buff just stays on you 24/7, which is pretty nice for mapping. But but look, uh, you know, TA boss here just gets obliterated pretty easily. Nothing too crazy. Do the league mechanic here. All right, that was a T eight. Yeah, not too bad, huh? So T7s are, are, are a breeze. You just literally go on the map boss and you just, you hit him and he just disintegrates in one hit. Um, as far as my pets go, like I said, I'm just picking up all of like the elemental damage, elemental piercing. Here's the one, what I mentioned earlier with the cast speed. Um, I got this guy yesterday, the scorpion dude. It's just double damage, double damage, uh, attack damage, attack damage. Um, yeah, so pretty much just double damage, attack damage. And yeah, this is a pretty fun build. You know, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Um, but like, look, 67% uh, double damage. That's without my focus blessing buff. So like I have a high percentage uh, chance to do double damage. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my two-hander Gemma build. Uh, it's been pretty fun. And yeah, just, you know, if you like the video, just make sure you like and subscribe. And just let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And Usually I stream on Twitch at around 8.30 to 12.30, Monday through Friday. I try to get on every single every single day, um, you know, for a couple hours. So you can visit me over there. The link will be in the description below. And I'll also make all the talent trees and kind of mandatory gear selections uh, as well on the link below, uh, in the comments below, description below, sorry. Um, yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.